Hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm going to talk to you about some basic five out basketball plays that you can run with your team, especially if your team is younger or if they're just beginners or you just want to kind of start to implement an easy offense to build off of, this video is for you. So basically the five out is great to run against man-to-man -man as well as zone defenses. The reason is, is it spreads the defense open so that it opens up lanes for your players to cut through to get easy baskets. Let's get down to the clipboard and let's check this out okay so here we have the five out offense the five out there's going to be five spots on the court now generally speaking in those five spots we always usually want to have a player in each one of those five spots However, I'm not against a player who sees an opening and cuts baseline so that now maybe they have an open layup. I'm not against that. I'm also not against having a weak side player, let's say player 5 having the ball. I'm not against player 4 cutting across the high post because he sees an opening so that player 5 can get him the ball raises up the defense, opens up the baseline for some cuts, and we could have player 2 and 3 cutting towards the baseline. Even though the 5-out offense, a lot of coaches will instruct it to be always having one player in each spot, I always like to say read the defense and see what the defense is giving you. If they're giving you opportunities, you better take them. But first, there's three basic offenses when it comes to the 5-out. Number one is being passing to the wing player or passing to the next player over. You need to really picture this as a player as a big circle. So let me explain why. So pass and screen means you pass the player four and then you set a screen. If you're a younger player and watching this, because I'm telling your coaches to share this with you, this right here is the sign for a screen. And now you're setting a screen for player four. Player four is using that screen and player one can either cut towards the rim or roll towards the rim or he can pop out towards the three point line. If he pops out to the three point line, this means that his player or maybe player four's defender fought over the screen and player one's defender is still behind him. Like so, let's say player four fought through then what we would want is player one to pop up top. If, however, we have player one and he sets that screen, we get player four hung up on player one, and now we have player one red hedging. Hedging means that you take a step out on player four just to stop him from being able to take that shot. Now, if this was to happen, we want player one to roll towards the basket because now it's going to be an easy layup for player one. There's also the option or opportunity where if, for example, player three or two's defender comes down to play help defense, they may be open for a nice pass. So just to keep that in mind. Again, reading the defense, see what the defense is giving you, and then reacting and getting an easy basket. Now the second play that you can run that's very basic is passing and cutting towards the basket. Now when cutting towards the basket, what we want is if he's open for his, for his basket, let's say he's open, he's faster than his defender, we want player four to pass down to him for the basket. Now, if he is not open, let's say his defender covered him really super well, then we want player five to run up top, and we want player two to cover player five spot so that each one of these locations is still covered. And now we have, again, still each player in one of the five locations. Our next play, our third basic play, is the pass and screen away, which is when you have a player like player four passing over to player three, now screening away for player five, and now player five running and filling that open spot. We would then have player four having two options again, either popping and staying here, or 
rolling towards the basket. If he or she options to roll towards the basket, we now have player 5 as an option for a 3 point shot. We also have player 4 open and having as an option for a layup. So now player 3 has two different options. Now if player 4 was to roll towards the basket, we need player 2 to fill up top and we need player 1 to fill up top or out in that wing as well, which now the offense will look like this. Going from there, what we're going to be having is this little corner is kind of a difficult location because some players do get caught up not understanding what to do in the corner. Like I was mentioning earlier, you got to think of it as a big circle. So, when you're thinking of it as a big circle, if player 3 was to pass to player 5 and decided to screen away then what we would need to have done is player 3 would need to go and set a screen for player 4 and player 4 would run baseline and pop out to here. Or if player 3 was to pass and then cut towards the basket, he would then be posting up his player maybe for one or two seconds. This is if he has the ability to post up his player or her player. Let's say he or she is a bit taller than her defender or his defender, then this might be a viable option to get some easy low post baskets. Once he is finished posting up and let's say he or she never got the ball, needs to pop back out to that location. This is now moving over to more advanced basketball plays. This is the dribble handoff. So if you're a player and you've never heard of what a dribble handoff is, this is when, for example, player 5, he is dribbling towards player 2 and player 2 is running towards player 5. Generally speaking, we're going to have a defender on player 2 and a defender on player 5. Player 2 runs by player 5, uses him as a screen. Once this happens, player 5 blue is unable to move. This is a set screen. Player 2 is going to get that ball and has the option to continue through or to curl back around and set up another offense or another play up top. The other option is for player 2 to use that screen and have player 5 roll off, again having the option for that layup. Also having the option for player 1 who is now sprinting towards the point as an option for a shot. Now I'm going to show you really quickly what these four different plays will look like against different defenses. This first defense is against a man-to-man -man defense, passing and cutting towards the basket. If he is open, definitely hit him up for a pass. If not, then we're going to be having player 5 run up top, player 4 is going to be filling, and player 1 is going to be popping. At which case, then we may have a player 5 who is open for, their, for the shot, for the drive. There's a few different options here. Again, reading the defense. We would then have player 5 recover, the red team recover. And now you don't have to necessarily continuously run the, the 5 out pass and cut the whole time down the court you don't have to keep on running the the pass and cut you can then change it up it all comes down to what that player sees i like to give some guidance to players and some accountability to players to say hey if you want to switch it up 100 percent, these are the four plays we're going to run and you can decide yourself so if player five passes over to player four and decides well I, I think we should set a screen I'm a bit bigger of a player we might get a switch whatever it may be player four would then use that screen going up to that location up top and if there is a switch and we have player five rolling towards the basket then he made a, or she made a fantastic decision but when that cut happens we also have player one cutting up top as another secondary option and now when that pass happens obviously player five is going to be clearing out and now we can have even player four this is another more advanced option is these players haven't been doing much at all yet on this play sequence so now we can have player four set a screen for player two and we can have player two blue now pop up top may be open for a pass, player one made a pass, he has to do one of two things. He needs to now either screen for, cut, or screen away. 
Those are the three options as soon as he made that pass. Let's say he cuts towards the rim. Player 5 needs to fill. And now, as you can see, this is now just cycling through. But again, you have those three to four options. The pass and cut, pass and screen away. And then you also have the pass and screen four. You also have the ability to do a dribble handoff. And then if there's two or three players not doing too much, it keeps on going between two players. They need to go and screen for each other, try to get each other open, whatever it may be. And meanwhile, we're having things happen on this side. We may just get something open. And if there's a lot of movement on the court, not just with the players with the ball, but also the players without the ball, you're going to be super successful. So let's say we have the 2-3 zone defense. We have player 1 pass over to player 4. Player 2 is going to be moving over to cover that pass or cover that player. We'll have player 1 cutting towards the rim, which could bring player 1 down just a bit to cover player 1 from getting that ball on the high post. We could then have player 5 fill in, which he should. He may be open for that pass. And again, now running really quickly, we could now have a swing quickly, which is now, and that's what you really want to do against the zone. You want to get the ball on one side and then swing it back around. Because as you can see here, Player 5 can now cut, and he can get that ball for a quick shot. Or, that could now collapse these two players, in which case, Player 1, again, like I was mentioning earlier, to always read the defense, could see that it pulled up these two players, and he can pass down to Player 1 and get that basket. Again, this is a very quick offense, and the faster you run the 5 out, the more successful you will be. Well, I hope that this video helps you become a better basketball coach. Go ahead and share this video with your players as well so that they understand the plays that you would like to run. Hopefully this helps them and I hope it helps your team win more games. I will see you guys again later on today for the second video of the day. Of course, if you're a player and you've never seen my channel before, definitely go check out my player tutorials and moves in also drills for you to improve as well.